if you're investing, and let's just not talk about it, let's just say the market, or the world market. If you have one place you want to invest, it's got to be investing in companies which are levered into the emerging consumer of China. Because you've got to think about it. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of millions of consumers. We've got two things going for China. One is a general lift in income per, per person. Yeah, and it's sitting around eight or 9,000 per person now. Everyone's expectation is that'll go to 15,000 per person. So a massive increase in income per capita of Chinese consumer. Then we've got the continual movement of people from a lot poverty or near poverty into some lower middle class. And as people get income in, those, in that sort of economy, they don't save, they spend it. So if they get five or 6,000 per head more in income, they're not putting a thousand bucks in the bank. They're spending the whole six thousand dollars. So the the multiplier effect on that in terms of consumption demand out of China is fantastic. So what you've got to do as an investor is find the companies who have product, who have brand, which will be demanded by Chinese consumers. Now unfortunately that doesn't exist in Australia. They're not Australian companies, they're international companies. So my answer to your question is look for those companies in the world scene, work out what they're worth, and buy them when they're attractively priced. That's why we're setting up the international fund. 